across the sky Like a swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow Like a mighty cannonball he seems to fly You'll hear about him everywhere you go The time will come when everyone will know the name of Canyon No one What's the idea? You're free, Paul, that's what. Now get out of those prison clothes. No. Look, my time's almost up. I didn't ask you guys to spring me. I'm going back. You try that and not. It's all right. It's up to you. Think what'll happen to your sister. What do you mean, my sister? Like I said, it's up to you. we started out to do. Now, nobody's gonna get hurt if she watches her step and you watch yours. Woke up just in time to see him burning those bills he made before he went to jail. Is he done for? Not yet. He 
won't last long. We're better off rid of him. As long as we've got the plates, we can print up plenty more counterfeit money. Yeah. Wait a minute. They're gone. They're not on him. He must have ditched them someplace. Well, he couldn't have gotten far with them. Listen, a rider. We gotta get out of here. Come on. I've told you about Paul and Letty Canyon. Well, Paul broke jail yesterday. Well, if he did that, he's really in trouble now. Yeah, and there's no real reason why he should have been in the first place. The boy just got in with the wrong company. Paper says he'd have been out in a little while. Well, why do that? There's no telling. One thing I am sure of, though, this is going to hit Letty pretty hard, and she's a fine girl. I think I'll ride down there in the morning and see how she is. The jailbreak was apparently the work of two men who used dynamite to free Kenyon from his cell. Deputies found the trail of the three horses but were unable to follow it once the fugitives got into Rocky Hill Country. Rocky Hill Country. That sounds as if it might be around here. Yeah, it might. So maybe you better be careful when you're out on champ for the next few days. Let's go rustle up some grub. Can't tell anyone you've seen me. I can't. Look, son, if you don't help me get away from here, those men who shot me will come back and kill me. Gosh, but but I ought to get someone. No, not yet. Look, is there any place I can hide around here? Well, there's an old mine shack not far. Nobody lives there, but but you'd have to get there on my pony. I'll do it somehow. I guess you 
just about saved a man's life, champ. <laughs> Stay here. I'll need you. Whoever came last night must have taken Kenyon. Or what's left of him. We've covered every place else. Those plates have got to be around here somewhere. Hey, look at that. It looks like Kenyon headed out this way. Well, he couldn't get away by himself. He must have had help. He did have. Look at these tracks. Yeah, pretty small. You think they're a woman's? More like a kid. Look. Here's dog tracks. Kenyon's still alive. We've got a chance to get those plates. And if he's still alive, he'll try to contact his sister. That means we've got to contact her first. Yeah, but we can't go riding around without folks asking questions. We'll be the ones that'll be asking questions. We got badges in my saddlebag, haven't we? escaped convict because Rain and Carter forced me to break jail. <sighs> Threatening my sister. But if you tell a sheriff... I'd like to, Ricky. Believe me. But I can't yet. I've got to protect Letty. You see, if Rain and Carter think I'm dead, then Letty's safe. But if you tell anybody, even the law, that I'm alive, it might mean my sister's life. I'll go home and get some medicine for you, and bandages, and you ought to have something to eat. But, Ricky, don't tell anybody that you've seen me, for my sister's sake. Well, seeing that you're ready to give yourself up anyway... I will, Ricky. <laughs> Look, don't even tell Letty. You won't be sorry, I, I promise you. All right. What's the matter with you? And why don't you shake hands with Miss Kenyon? Well, my hands are kind of dirty. Kind of dirty? Well, that's putting it mildly. I suppose you've got it all. What's this? I found that in a campfire up in the hills. You found money in a campfire? Yeah, it looked like somebody was trying to burn it. Must have something to do with Paul and those men. Yeah, that would be my guess. And if the money is... Counterfeit? Yeah. What are you going to do about it, Sandy? Well, I have to ride in and report this to the sheriff, Letty. Then if this money is counterfeit, Ricky will have to show us where the campfire is and we can start tracking from there. I know you have to do it, Sandy. But if only I could find Paul first. I know I could get him to surrender. Letty, this can't wait. I know. Go ahead, I'll stay here. You and Rebel stay here with Miss Canyon, Ricky. Uh, I'm kind of hungry. I guess I'll fix myself something to eat in the kitchen. You care for anything? No, thank you, Ricky. Ricky, what? Bandages. 
need medicine. But is someone hurt? It's just that... The burn money. The way you were so surprised to see me. Ricky, you're holding something back about Paul, aren't you? I can't say anything. Promised. But I'm his sister. Is it Paul who's hurt? Somebody's coming. And it can't be Uncle Sandy yet. With two deputies. I saw that big man once. Talking to Paul before he went to jail. Well, maybe it's Rain and Carter. You know those names. Then you did see Paul. If that's who they are, we can't let them know you're here. Come on. Deputy Marshals. We're looking for that convict fellow, Paul Kenyon, that broke jail. Oh, yeah, I read about him. We wanted to ask his sister some questions, but over at her place, they said she was at Sandy North's. Well, Sandy's my uncle, but he's not here. Oh, where is he? In town, but he'll be back soon. We must have got here ahead of him. Is your uncle bringing the girl back with him? No, he's bringing the sheriff. The sheriff? Why the sheriff? It had something to do with that escaped convict. Maybe you ought to wait and talk to the sheriff. And we're working out of the U.S. Marshal's office, son, so we'd better be pushing along. I'll tell the sheriff you were here. Yeah, sure. Why not? There's tracks at the camp. A kid and a dog. I'm going back in to see if that kid's been holding out on us about Kenyon. Is the sheriff on his way? No matter what the kid knows, it ain't worth taking a chance. Come on. He's gone. And I'm sure it was Rain and, and Carter. Ricky, you simply have to tell me what you know. Paul's hurt, isn't he? Pretty bad. Then take me to him. You must. I promised I wouldn't even tell you. Because it wouldn't be safe for you. You didn't tell me. I guessed it. If he's safe where he is, then I would be too, wouldn't I? Ricky Paul needs help now. More help than you can give him alone. I guess you're right. Rebel, go get Champ. I'll get the supplies, and when Champ comes, I'll ride him. You can have my pony. I made him tell me. Uh, uh, I'm glad you're here, Letty. Uh, uh, uh. Ricky, start a fire. I'll need lots of hot water. So after I hid the plates, I burned the money. That's when Rain shot me. Now you could go down and surrender to the sheriff, couldn't you? Not until I get those plates. I have to have those, or nobody will believe that I'm trying to go straight. Tell me where they are. I'll get them. No, Letty. That's no job for a girl. But Champ and I could do it. Maybe. If you didn't run into Rain or Carter, you... Well, even if I did, they could never catch me on Champ. Well, I don't know. It's our only chance. But, Ricky, are you sure? Well, I could do it, honest. Ricky. You remember that water hole near the camp where you found me? I know where. Well, right at the edge of the water, there's a heart-shaped rock. All right, back. 
back where we started from. And the more I think of it, the surer I am that Kenyon must have stashed those plates somewhere around here. Listen. I got a hunch that kid's the answer. on the horse. Let's double back. We can pick up the kids' tracks. That's funny. Ricky's pony's gone, Sheriff. They must be inside. Ricky, Letty. gone, Sheriff. And after I told them to wait. They might have gone back to that campfire. We better hightail it up there. Hold it a minute, Sheriff. Rebel, he's hurt. He's got a cactus thorn in his paw. Hold still now, old fellow. We'll get it out of there in just a second. There you are. You ought to be as good as new now, okay? What's the matter with him now? He wants us to follow him. These are the plates that sent me to prison. It would be a relief when they're turned in and destroyed. Destroyed? Now, that'd be a shame. Those plates are works of art. You never let go, do you? You know something? You're hard to kill. I thought sure I'd finished you off. Are they all right? Yeah. We got what we came for. Let's get out of here. these plates as evidence against these two and because you helped get them you mean you're gonna give me a break of course you'll have to serve out the rest of your term but I think I can persuade them to forget the jailbreak oh Paul it hadn't been for Ricky here oh it was really chance that did it <laughs> he finds you 
Come on, you two, on your horses. What's the matter with Rebel? I think he's jealous. Cut it out, Rebel. We all know you helped, too. You bet he did. It took teamwork to do it. Oh. 